healthy wild species are vital for the survival of our ecosystems and also for us humans. They form an essential part of the web of life that provides us with fertile soils, clean air and safe drinking water. This web of life protects our environment and mitigates the impacts of the climate crisis. World Wildlife Day 2023 calls our attention to this once again. Over the coming decades, we are in danger of losing one million species. It is high time we took counteractive measures. CITES has played an important role in these efforts for 50 years, thanks to the CITES regulations Many of the species endangered through international trade have been able to recover or at least somewhat improve their status. I would like to thank the Society Secretariat and its partners for their tireless commitment to this cause. We have to make maximum use of and expand CITES if we are to put an end to species extinction. But we also have to give greater attention to other causes of biodiversity loss. That is why the goal set in Montreal by the international community, namely to create protected areas and restore degraded ecosystems, are so important. To achieve this, we need cooperation between governments and international institutions. In the environmental sector, this means that CITES, CBD, the Bonn Convention and the Ramsar Convention should work even more closely together. Nature conservation and species protection need to be addressed as a cross-sector issue. This also applies to the protection of marine species. According to IOCN, over a third of all shark and ray species are threatened with extinction. Therefore, at the last CITES conference, a further 100 shark and ray species were placed under protection. This is a huge step forward. But lists alone are not enough. CITES addresses trade, but it does not address fisheries management. Germany has therefore launched an initiative aimed at improving cooperation between countries, regional fisheries organizations and CITES authorities on the protection of sharks and rays. I invite all interested countries and organizations to support this initiative. Thank you very much.